whatever we are operating on the brain impacts the rest of the human being see unlike in the abdomen we cannot just go inside and take out a whole tumor and because there's lots of space in the abdomen whereas in the brain there's a lot of abutting normal brain tissue and if i meddle too much with that i may create a problem which was not there when the patient first came to me so i have to be it it's be at all time be cognizant of that and when we do that sometimes temporarily after a tumor surgery a patient may have a paralysis which can be very you know traumatic to a person i went in moving both all four limbs and now i got a paralysis of one half of my body so we have to think of it beyond just that part of part of the thing another thing is getting a brain tumor especially in a child can be very very uh, it upsets me tremendously because majority of brain tumors in children unfortunately are malignant so we end up having to tell the family that the child's days are numbered the child is going to suffer a lot before they die and you know things like that so it's there's a lot of human emotion there's a lot of compassion empathy consideration and fear we have to deal with all of this so neurosurgery may sound very glamorous but actually it is quite a painful thing to undergo but on, that's on one side of the story the other side of the story is advances have happened to such an extent in neurosurgery today that in good hands in expert centers with a good neurosurgeon the risk of neurosurgery and it impacting your mortality or your morbidity is just 1% as much as a cesarean section so that's the good news and the bad news